An eerie scene here at WrestleMania as someone is going to be buried alive for the first time ever, a buried alive match for the Multiversal Championship. And look who decided to join us. My best bud Tibbles is back. Are you excited to see him, Danny? You better keep that freak of nature away from me. I know what he does. I know he's not a real dog. Oh, come on, right? Daddy. Don't be so harsh. Look how cute he is. No, 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 no. Hey, you better keep your distance if you know what's good for you, buddy. Or I'll get men in black here. Well, speaking of men in black, here comes the dead man. Or should I say, the American badass, the Undertaker. It wouldn't be WrestleMania without the Phenom, the American badass. The Undertaker has arrived on the grandest stage of them all. I'm just basking in the greatness of this absolute legend. Former WSC Hardcore Tag Team Champion, along with his little brother Kane. But now he's looking to settle the score and become his first ever reign as Multiversal Champion here in WSC. The Undertaker unleashing the unholy trinity on the Fiend at WrestleMania in the first ever Baron Alive match here in WSC. This is gonna be a good one. Now he awaits his arch nemesis here. One of these men are going under. And on Undertaker's perspective, it might as well be this man. But how can you bury an abomination of this caliber. The Fiend has laid waste to anyone coming his way and is now holding on to that multiversal championship with his ghastly hands and is looking to choke the life out of Undertaker to keep him. And look at this terrifying entrance coming out on a freaking monster truck. The Fiend with that disgusting, creepy multiversal championship that he holds dearly. And The Fiend, we've seen the terrifying lengths The Fiend is willing to go to, especially in the multiverse environment. It's unleashed a new level of brutality in The Fiend. Yeah, I remember the time where he decapitated Peacemaker, but now we gotta remember the time where the Brothers of Destruction had that Tag Team Championship Elimination Chamber won until the Wyatt family put a stop to both of them. The Fiend targeted The Undertaker. He wanted this match. He wants to put an end to the dead man, take his legacy, and usher in a new era of terror here in WSC. You know, while we're talking about that belt, I would call The Fiend a narcissist to his face, but you know, I like the skin on my face, thank you, so I'll refrain from that. The Fiend is someone you don't want to cross, Danny. I've been on the receiving end of a mandible claw. It's no fun, but this match, the only way to win is to incapacitate your opponent to the point where you can put him inside the grave and cover him in dirt, bury them alive. And here we go, Fiend charging in, a big boot to the face. And now the dead man, the most feared striker in all of wrestling, teeing off. These guys have gone back and forth before, but now it's time for one last ride. And Undertaker's looking to give it to him with that snake eyes off the ropes. Oh, he went for that big boot, but the fiend with the mind games of plenty for the dead man. And look at this. Right back at you, choke slam. Here it comes. Oh wait, look! What a counter! The mandible claw by the fiend. The mandible claw locked in, but Undertaker with the gurzel and the choke oh. slam. Wait, he, he's already hit the grave site. This could be over right here. The Undertaker. All he has to do is just bury him. Use that shovel, big man. Will the Undertaker be able to bury him alive? He's doing so right here, but the fiend. Oh, wait a look at this. The Fiend, right back at the offensive, mandible claw to the dead man. Oh man, got it locked in deep and he's pulling the Undertaker, pulling him into the Dragging grave. Dragging him inside the site. Oh look, he's gonna rub some dirt in his eye, Bully Maguire style. Even the Fiend has to see here, the Undertaker desperately trying to get away from him and look at this, oh! My God. God just broke the shovel off the dome of the abomination. But look at this, it did nothing. It's gonna take a lot more than that to put the Fiend down. And the Fiend going after Taker, but Taker, Undertaker with the Hell's Gate, Hell's Gate. He's looking to put the Fiend to sleep. Even a monster's gotta breathe. And now the Undertaker clenching, squeezing the life out of the Fiend's body. Can the Fiend escape this? 
If he doesn't, he's knocked out, and it's more easy for The Undertaker to get him inside, but oh! What a powerbomb counter by The Fiend. He knew just what to do to get out of that. And now, what else is he thinking of doing here? You're a Nagi. Oh, oh my into God. the frame site! Oh! Oh! The Undertaker down and out in the grave, and now will The Fiend bury The Undertaker alive? No! The dead man has risen! Vintage Undertaker! The dead man has risen indeed, but The Fiend will not let anything else happen here. Just pounding away at the dead man from behind, and now The Fiend roaring. A, a, a hellish roar, that is. And now look at this. Sister Abigail incoming for Undertaker, now mocking the dead man. That is not a wise move. Look at Undertaker. He has him up. Tombstone City coming for you, Fiend. This could be all over here. The Fiend gonna rest in peace. Oh, no. Oh, no. Look at this gosh. Harper and Rowan here to spoil all the fun for everyone here in attendance. And now to spoil the life of The Undertaker, no doubt. Harper and Rowan were there. They were perpetrators in the downfall of the Brothers of Destruction at the Elimination Chamber. And now they're serving as the saviors for The Fiend. Bringing in tables. What do they have planned here? The Fiend pulled them out of the grave. The Undertaker had this match won. Whatever they have planned, it's not going to feel good for the oh, dead no. man here. That's for damn sure. Double choke slam through the tables into the grave site. Oh, if they Kane. hit this, it's over. Wait, there's Kane! The big red monster, the big red machine, the devil's favorite demon serving as Undertaker's guardian angel. Oh, no! Oh, no! Shovel breaking over his head. Kane thought he was high up, but The Fiend is going to drag him back down to hell. The Fiend has that massive mount in hand. Kane is in trouble, is in serious trouble. Wait! Wait, wait a minute, wait. Who the... Who the... Oh my God! Shrek! No way! Shrek is back! He's here! The main brain fighting machine is here in front of a live audience! The greatest multiversal champion in history is back! And WrestleMania is here to save the day! Everyone's favorite ogre is now about to have his first WrestleMania moment! The unlikeliest of heroes here to stop the Fiend! Don't break it! Shrek flies at WrestleMania! Oh! <laughs> the roar of the elders! The ogre! Oh no, Swamp Ass! I've always wanted to see it in person, and now I regret it! A tombstone pile driver from The Undertaker and Shrek gone for the Shrek Slam, but Kane wants a piece. He wants revenge from the chamber. He's gonna get it with the choke slam onto the floor. And now the dead man looking to take another soul. Boss ride, sending him six feet under. Through the boat tables. Sending him to his grave. Is this it for the fiend? I guess it is as the machine buries the fiend alive. A new era of darkness is upon us. Here is your winner and new WSC Multiversal Champion, The Undertaker. I swear to myself on all is holy, that was the damnedest thing that I've ever seen. Shrek posing as the savior of all so that he can grasp the multiversal championship from the ghastly fingers of the Fiend. What a moment at WrestleMania, the Prince of Darkness finally holding singles gold in WSC. And now the fun begins. Come one, come all throughout the multiverse. The dead man awaits. The big dog's yard just got bigger. The multiverse belongs to the Phenom now.